What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in San Antonio, Texas, and it's a very, very special day. I'm with the all new 2021 Kia Seltos. But before we jump into this all new SUV from the South Korean brand, let's talk a little bit about Kia history. So Kia has been selling vehicles here in the United States since the early 1990s. You know, it's really been that rocky story of coming up with some innovative ideas and really creating a lineup today that is unstoppable. With the great success of the Kia Telluride, they want to take some of that magic from that vehicle and bring it into a little bit smaller package with this Seltos. Now, what's fascinating is that the Seltos is going to be a worldwide product, whereas the Telluride is specific to the United States. What they decided to do is, is make some tweaks and changes to this global vehicle to give it a identity to the market of the United States to where they know success will follow. Now, what's fascinating is this vehicle sits on the same chassis as the sister brand, the Hyundai Kona. What's great though, is that that's where the similarities stop and there's some other additions to the Seltos to separate it from that vehicle. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2021 Kia Seltos and see, are they bringing that SUV magic like they did with the Telluride. Now, right off the bat, you're looking at the dimensions and you're probably scratching your head saying, where does this fall in Kia's lineup? Because they do have other SUVs. This is gonna fall smack dab in between the Kia Soul and the Kia Sportage. And that's what's gonna help fortify their lineup. But right off the bat, you see the styling, very, very unique. We got all LED headlight design. I'm really digging this silver trim that follows the top of the headlight housing. Down here, you can see you have your turn light design, all LED, really digging how it's not just a bunch of glass black, a gloss black that's on the outside. You have some nice gloss black on the inside. We drop down, you can see we have the exterior uh, LED fog lamps. The great news is no fake vents, no just regular black plastic hanging around. Now, as you come across that iconic Tiger Nose Grill. It's becoming iconic already with the brand. This is a brand identifier besides the badging. You have that brand identifying grill. Look at how the lighting goes into the grill area and how those headlights interlock with that same grill. I really think that that is gonna give it that unique style that when you see this going down the road, especially at night, you know it's a Kia Seltos and you know it's something different. You drop down, I like this nice horizontal black area and then what's fascinating, like I told you how they're selling this vehicle in other markets around the world, this lower section is unique to the United States. So they decided instead of having a lower nose to actually have the nose come up a little bit higher, sort of to give it like a Subaru Crosstrek look. Now, there's gonna be four different trims, this one being the top trim, the SX with all-wheel drive. Of course, here on Rady's Rides, you know we'll bring the other trims, but this does have the same all-wheel drive setup as the Telluride with a center locking differential, which is extremely important for really superior all-wheel drive capability. Now, when we get up onto the hood, very definitive body lines here. I really like the way we have this nice, almost like a check shape going on that, hap that happens to flow into the side where the fender is. And as we come around, it, it, it just gives it enough personality without looking too funky. You know, you look at some of the other SUVs in this segment, they're kind of looking a little funky. This thing just has a nice look to it. It sits higher than the Kona. That's another separator. So with the Seltos, you have that different front end that separates ours from everybody else. But with the Seltos compared to the Kona, this actually sits up a little higher. Now, when you come to the side, look at the, how that headlight design flows very, very far into the fender treatment. And I like it because I have not seen a lot of styling like that before. And I think at the price point, you're gonna be blown away with what you're getting for the money. You can see the flat black comes around the fender well and what's smart is they put an extra body line in there so it's not just a slab piece of plastic. Wheel and tire setup. So we were looking at this 18 inch wheel. You got machined aluminum. I like the dark gray, the bright red center caps, very similar to what is on the Kia Forte GT. Really gives it a nice overall look that blends in perfectly with this Kia Seltos color, just awesome. Now, this one, like I said, all-wheel drive, I am gonna issue a zonk. I know you thought, hey, is this just gonna be Joe 
not doing what he normally does. All wheel drive badge, kind of the wrong place, I think, to put it. We could have put that somewhere else, but it's nice to let people know, hey, this has that all wheel drive setup on this particular one. Black mirror caps, little bit of flat black, not too bad. You got your turn singles nicely melded in, and then you're gonna have this particular one has a blacked out roof. Now, you can get different roof colors depending on your color combination. What's fascinating is that if you go with a two-tone setup like this one, you can't get a sunroof right now. So I guess there's some type of issue with the production of the Seltos with adding a sunroof and having a different color roof. So I do think though, if you go this color with the black roof, it breaks it up just the right amount and you have those nice blacked out eight pillars. We go down that black roof, you have silver on the roof rails, nice touch, flat black. I like having flat black here because think about it. Every time you're opening and closing these doors, you're gonna get fingerprints all over that gloss black. So the flat black is very tasteful, bright silver on the door handles. I also love this chrome trim. Goes right along the bottom, right above that belt line. And the belt line has a nice curve to it, but with a little bit of body design with the line, how it fades right into the door. Lower section, same story, flat black with a little bit of gloss, nothing too crazy. You're gonna have that center locking differential for, to distribute that all wheel drive front and back. We keep coming to the back of the vehicle. You can see how that trim comes into the quarter window. Now, here's a little fun fact. I love what Kia is doing with their uh, trim because if you look at the Telluride, the Telluride has some trim to it where along the, the edge of the door, it actually kind of just raises up and stops. And I like that. I, I like the same combination, how they kind of brought that same attribute into the Seltos and the Telluride. And I think to help break up where the black roof is and the rest of the car in this rear quarter panel, this is spot on the money, it gives it the perfect amount of style. Now, when we get to the rear of the vehicle, very interesting on the design of those roof rails, how they kind of extend a little bit far back. I like that because this would probably be a good area to maybe tie something down, maybe get a bungee cord or something like that. Shark fin antenna, gloss black on the low roof spoiler with a little bit of design into it. We dropped down and they did the same exact thing that they did on the front. They took that silver trim and brought it into the taillights, just like on the headlights. You have your nice bright white LED reverse uh, lights that are gonna come on when you throw it into reverse. This one is the SX trim. There's four different trims and I'll get to that in a second turbocharged power underneath that hood. We drop down. I think one of my favorite parts of the rear end is I really love the way this curves in on each corner and you have that reflector there. The one zonk for me at the back, I do like the Seltos, but the one zonk is gonna be this design here. I don't know if it's trying to be an exhaust or just trying to be decorative. I, I'm, I wish they would have went a little bit different direction because from the back of the car, it looks like it's trying to be a fake exhaust outlet there's no exhaust showing except for those two designs but other than that i think they found the right balance especially with the design to the tail light lighting to mimic what's going on in the front but why don't we go ahead let's get back to the front where we all started and check out what's underneath the hood of the seltos all right guys we got the hood pop there is a prop rod which we are going to zonk that but underneath the hood you have some choices and this is where i'm going to talk about the different trims so Four trims, LX, the S, the EX, and the SX. Now you could go two different engine options. I'm gonna tell you what's in this vehicle first. This one has the 1.6, the upgraded engine, 1.6 liter, turbocharged, inline four, 175 horsepower, 195 pound-feet of torque. It's all mated to a seven-speed DCT, dual clutch transmission, that automatic DCT. Like I pointed out, this one has all-wheel drive. You could get it in front-wheel drive, Front wheel drive, MPG's 29 in the city, 34 on the highway. All wheel drive is 27 in the city, 31 on the highway. The other engine option is gonna be a two liter inline four naturally aspirated engine, 146 horsepower, 132 pound feet of torque. But it's great to have these choices. If you're wondering, well, Joe, doesn't this have less horsepower than the Soul GTN line that has the same engine? You're right, but they retuned it to give us more torque. But why don't we go ahead, we talked about the outside underneath the hood, let's get to the interior and see what's special about the Seltos. All right guys, we're inside the 2021 Kia Seltos. Let's talk a little bit about price because I know so far you're probably liking what you're seeing because trust me, I know exactly how you feel. I've 
really have enjoyed being around this vehicle so far and I can't wait to get to the drive portion. Now, the great news is you could come in two different ways. This one is fully loaded. Let's start off with a base entry level model. That's gonna be your S trim. That's gonna be around $21,990. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, that's great that they have a base one. How much is this one? This one fully loaded, except for the sunroof, obviously, is gonna be right around $29,000. Now, here's the interesting thing. At $21,990, you could actually go two different ways to where you could get into the entry level with front wheel drive or with all wheel drive. If you go the S, that's gonna be your front wheel drive entry way, and that's gonna give you a little bit more amenities on the interior. If you go the all wheel drive route, then you still come in at 21,990, but you're losing a few things. And like I said, stay tuned, because we're gonna cover all the different brands here on, uh, excuse me, not only the brands, of course, but all the different trim levels of this Kia Seltos. But let's get to the door panel, because I'm telling you, at 29,000, there's a lot to talk about. To the door panels. Very, very attractive door panel. Now, the zonk is there's a lot of hard plastic. At the top of the door panel is very hard plastic. You do have some nice, tasteful gloss black, which guess what? You're not gonna touch. There's some silver trim in there. I do love the armrest. The armrest with the contrast stitching, very soft. For the first time, Bose sound system. So this one has the optional sound system. The Kia engineers went back and forth with Bose 22 times to get that speaker set up right. And you have a lower pocket down there. Right now we have an umbrella because it's sprinkling, but trust me, you could put your bottle of yoo -hoo and of course a Kia approved Twinkie setup and help yourself as you're going across your journeys. Now, as we go to the dash, the other zonk is it is hard plastic up here, but the good news is softer material with the stitch work. I like the silver around the AC vents. Here's where things are gonna just, it gets knocked out of the park. It's a grand slam. First in this segment, 10, over 10 inch, 10.25 inch infotainment system, that horizontal design. You can see the windshield wipers work. Horizontal design, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You even have your different sound moody, uh, mood lamp set up where you could change the colors in here. You could go peaceful forest sound. Uh, any type of stuff that you could do in here, you could actually change with the different settings of the lighting, which just makes it a little bit uh, nicer. You could go into your navigation menu, get to your different settings, all those different things, go into your places where you type and whatnot. So very easy to function through the system. You have your split screen set up. We can get the weather. As you can see, we're fighting showers right now, so we're gonna get this done. You got your sounds of nature. So if I wanna play my sounds of nature and relax, Right now I'm in the forest and it's nice and beautiful. Oh, that's really relaxing. So nice to see them doing different things like that. We'll do the calm sea waves. I feel like I'm back in Florida right now. Let's go for a swim, Laura, you and I. But uh, nice to have those little, this is stuff you're not gonna see on anything else in this segment. There's that beautiful 10.25 inch, it's almost 10.3 inches you can see. We're in an undisclosed area in San Antonio, Texas. There's really nothing around us. That Bose sound system setup. I like the way you have the buttons. Obviously, you saw it's touchscreen. Look at how smart they put the start-stop button and made the trim kind of go around it into the AC vents. You drop down. You do have just standard AC control, which, fine, which is fine. You have your temperature setting here, blower fan speed. But here's where you thought this was great. Here is another big hit. Look at all this beautiful connectivity. So you have a fast charging shelf here for your phone, then you're, which wireless charging, obviously. Then you're going to have two USBs and a 12 volt, and you could dump three bags of Skittles in there, no problem. Taste the rainbow. Enjoy your Seltos. Here's where you can lock that center diff. You got heated seats, no ventilated seats but you do have heated seats. I like the nice leather material, the silver. This is gonna be for that seven speed DCT. Manual shift only with the shifter, no paddles on the wheel. Let me show you reverse cameras in here. Going to reverse, nice, clear. You do have trajectory, which is really great as well. Let me put it back in park. You have your drive mode selector button, three different drive modes, normal, smart, and sport. We're gonna go through all those different modes on our drive couple fake buttons, nothing too crazy. We have our two cup holders here. They provided us with wonderful, wonderful Fiji water. Very tasteful, taste the islands. 
Another thing that Kia is doing awesome on are key fobs. I never thought I would say a key fob is sexy, but they're doing some sexy key fobs. I like the way the buttons are nice on the side, the silver trim, the Kia badge. If you don't keep your Kia fob there, this is where you can keep the breath mints when you're gonna pick up your girlfriend, wife, husband, or boyfriend. Nobody wants to kiss somebody with bad breath. I promise you that. Armrest, a little on the firm side, but I do like the stitching. Open it up and you have tons of space in here. You could easily get, you know those half cannons of Pringles? Probably two. And if you dump another one in there, you could have Pringles running around the cans, which is a great combo. Seats, love them. Nice leather material. I love the stitch work. I love this, this design. It's nice to see them put some creativity into the actual seat design. Comfy as can be. You do have manual controls for the passenger, but I do like the overall feel, fit, and finish. Space, I'm six feet tall. You have plenty of room. Even the touch, you have these nice, we have the doors open, which I can't show you, but nice LED. You just tap it and it lights up and it's a nice bright LED. Why don't you come on over to the business end? Because if you thought this side was great, it gets better over here. Come on over. All right, guys, business time. You do have for the driver the nice electric assist, real easy to use, very nice. You have the lower lumbar, which is a good touch. Steering wheel. This is where Kia is doing something with their wheels that I just love. The material is has a nice texture to it. I like the stitch work going on. A little bit of gloss black, but you're not touching that. Very attractive horn button. And then they have really great thumb controls and buttons. Everything is flat black. Here's, let's talk about that dash. Now, when you look at the dash, you have an analog tech, analog speedometer, but look what they did. You have a digital speedometer nicely placed in there. You also have your gear indicator and then also the mode. So as you turn your mode button, it shows up on the screen. So you don't have to look at the, at the switch. Smart, normal. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in sport. You know that's how we operate here on Radies Rights. Here's another thing I want to show you. When you turn on your windshield wipers, it actually shows it down there what speed it is. That to me is very, very smart engineering and I like that. You're going to get the full safety suite of all that great safety technology, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist. It lets you know if you're leaving any occupants in the car. All those types of things that you come to expect at this price point, a lot of the other uh, brands aren't bringing that to the table. But while we go ahead, let's check out the back seat and see if your passengers are going to be loving going on an adventure in your Seltos. All right, guys, back seat time. This is really where the Seltos earns its keep. Like I promised you before, it has more interior space than the Kona that sits on the same chassis. When you look at the back of the seats, you do have the plastic, which I am going to zonk, but I know parents love to have this because it's easy to keep clean. Your kids pick their nose. You can just wipe it right off, and if they're kicking it, you're just hitting the plastic, not the nice leather seat material. You do have two rear AC vents. How often do we see more expensive cars that do not have this? Nice large ones, too. A USB and a place for your Tootsie Rolls. That is smart engineering. Now, you only do have one pocket, but the good news is it's not one of those pesky cargo nets. You could put a book in here. You could put an abacus. You could put a comb set, a back scratcher. There's a lot of different things that you could put here that really makes it extra special. Seats are great. Now, they don't recline or slide, but the amount of room you have is really, really nice. I got plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, LED lighting, and we also have an armrest with the cup holders in the area that makes sense so that you could cruise down the road and relax. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see how much room we have in this Kia Seltos. All right, guys, time to get to the big point. What's the cargo space? We lift this up. You're going to have to use your arm. It's not electric assist or anything, but it's very light. And the great news is look at that amount of room. So if you want hard numbers with the seats up, you're looking at 26.6 cubic feet of space. That's more than the Chevy Trax, the Buick Encore, the Kona, the Kicks, and even the Subaru Crosstrek. You fold those seats down, you're looking at 62.8 cubic feet of space. Now let me show you how easy it is to put these seats down. I'm actually going to come around to over here and just lift up on the handle and voila, the seats are going to fold down nice and flat and what's wonderful about the versatility of the back of this Seltos is that you could actually, right now this is a, the floor is in the raised position. There's the floor underneath the nice cargo mat. But you could actually lower the floor 
if you have a taller item. The opening here is great. The lift gate is nice and high. And then here's really the nice part of it is that you're not getting a can of fix flat, a rabbit's foot and a calling card uh, 1900 calling card to get a tow truck to get you. You have a spare, you could actually do it yourself, or of course they have roadside assistance, but it's nice to have the spare there instead of the tow truck having to tow you somewhere that you don't want to be. But overall, very, very impressed with the amount of room. I mean, you heard the numbers and you heard how it beats the competition. Nice handle, nice and light. Look, one finger push, it's about that time. You know what time it is. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Kia Seltos for a spin. All right, guys, here we are. We came to a destination to do a little off-roading, some rough roading. This does have all-wheel drive, like we said. Right. And it's just like that bigger vehicle. What's that larger vehicle? The Telluride. The Telluride, exactly. And we're gonna see some of the capability. Now, this is in no means a Baja. Not at all. Yeah, we're not, we're not going up sand dunes or climbing mountains, but they wanted us to showcase uh, and, and be able to see and the all-wheel drive feel for ourselves exactly yeah. so here we go we're on this kind of makeshift dirt slash gravel road there's and some cattle there's over there's some cattle over there really nice scenery we're on somebody's private ranch property so we're going to kind of go off the beaten path here and here we go all right so we're going down this dirt road wow taking the bumps pretty well all right guys so continuing down this dirt road you are sitting up higher than the Kona and that revised front nose is gonna allow a little bit better ground clearance. I agree. How are you feeling with the ride so far over there on the passenger side while we're going off road It here? feels like it's handling quite well. Yes, definitely. All right guys, we swapped seats real quick here. Lori's behind the wheel. My turn. Behind the wheel of the Seltos doing some off-road. What, what do you like about the seating position over there, you feel good? I do, the seats are very comfortable. I like the height. I also love, I feel like Kia does this on almost all their vehicles, but how long the yeah. seat bottoms are. Yes. I love that. Sure, about their especially vehicles. for people with longer legs like us. Exactly. But I love the way the steering wheel feels. The material that they're using Top on notch. the wheel is, yeah, very, very nice touch. How about visibility? I know we're going down this, this dirt great. road here. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Even out the back, I thought was really, really good. Oh, completely. Yeah. Really, really good. I think it handles very well because where we're at right now, it's a little bit muddy. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, an all wheel drive vehicle, sure. whenever, and anybody can attest to this. If, even when you live in the city, sure. there's going to be some muddy, slick road. Yeah. So. But just driving down this road, the, the suspension is very compliant. It's, it's very not bouncy. Um, it has good feedback through the steering wheel. Kia's doing some great stuff yeah. to where the weight through the steering, the feedback is really nice. What are you thinking of that passenger seat over there as we're hopping I, down this road? I love the seat. Yeah. I love the seat. So for me, it usually takes about 10 minutes in a car to get a feel sure. for the seat. And we know we have to drive out to our location to film. Sure, yeah, exactly. And so I've been sitting in the seat for a little while now and I love it. Yeah. I love it because if it's not, if it's too hard or if it's too soft, my back will start sure. hurting. So I'm And as you can see, it's soaking up the bump. I mean, we just took some pretty big bumps there. Yeah. It was like nothing. You were still just talking. I'm and, surprised at how yeah. well this handles. Let's go right here. Let's go right. We're going to make a right at the stop sign here. Uh, now this one has all wheel drive. What I'm going to do is I have it in sport mode. Nobody's coming. I'm just going to floor it and see how it transfers power to the ground. Here we go. Flooring it. Real nice. It's able to do that 50-50 split. It has that center locking diff for when we go off-road and whatnot. And we're off and running, well, so. What's, what's really nice too is I didn't feel a tremendous amount of body roll when yeah. we were straightening back out. And that's the Good. thing is, is I think they found, the they did some suspension tuning to this car to really get it right to where it's not gonna beat you up on a longer drive. Yeah. Um, which is, it's, it, that's the perfect thing for this car is you could do the city driving, but you could also take this on a longer drive. Like we've been, we've been doing some long distance we driving have. today. We have, we've been covering quite a bit of ground in uh, the Quite a bit area. of San Antonio, yes. <laughs> and this state is big, that's, that's for sure. And speaking of big, what I'm really noticing over here is how much space I have to move my arms. There is I, a lot head, of room. There's a ton of headroom in yes, here. Yes, there is. There's, that's something really that's really surprising for impressive. a compact vehicle. Yes, very, very impressive. Especially sitting on that Kona chassis. I yeah. wasn't expecting I know you haven't no. driven the Kona yet. I've, no, um, I haven't driven it, but I've sat in it. You sat in it, and they really did do a, a 
good job of making more room in here. Oh, completely. Completely agree. Visibility is great. Yep. Gaining access. You know, I know a lot of people are, they're still not digging the iPad style screen, but right. I think the way that they did it is very Audi-esque, where it's not I too high. That. And yeah, it's not like blended in, but it's, it's nothing where it just looks like it's stuck on with a piece of chewing gum or something. Completely agree with that. So um, the dash is very clear to get to, I like the way there's a drive mode selector knob rather than just a button. Cause you have those three modes, sport, normal, and smart. I'm a big fan of those kinds of knobs rather yeah. than a button because a button you gotta look, whereas a knob you can just right. turn it. And, and it shows on the dash, which is yeah. great. Let's see how she handles in this right hand bend here. Getting that traction down, good feel through the steering, looking through the corner. Very, very nice, look at that. On the brakes, brake pedal has good feedback too. And obviously we're not going too crazy because it is very, very wet from raining all day in San Antonio, but back on throttle and we power out of that turn. So good. good feedback, smooth, even on this rougher pavement, very, very smooth. All right, guys, it's been one of those big Texas supersize adventures with this Kia Seltos. I definitely got to thank JB James and the rest of the Kia crew for inviting Radies Rides out to this amazing media event with the 2021 Seltos. Has Kia done it again? Have they taken that success of the Telluride and brought it into a smaller package? I think they took a lot of what was in that larger vehicle and really crammed it into the Seltos, but yet you don't feel crammed and cramped when you're driving it. In the lineup, I think this is definitely needed and one that you're wanna add, you're gonna wanna add to your list of vehicles if you're going to that SUV smaller segment like the Seltos is in. But if it's vehicles like these that you wanna see on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. I gotta give it up to my wonderful, beautiful, intelligent, hardworking wife, Lori. She's out here in the frigid cold and the rain, and guess what? Worked like a champ with that camera. Show her some love, because she's definitely winning the Videographer of the Year Award for this one. So thank you, sweetheart, and just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.